Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the BMW Group. Today, we are well uh, on our way to autonomous driving. BMWs have many semi-automated features that increase comfort and safety for drivers and passengers. Project I 2.0 is our journey towards fully autonomous driving. We have learned how to make our processes faster and leaner, both within the BMW Group and in our growing network of partners. We at BMW Group know that no one of us is smarter in all these technologies than all of us. That's why we collaborate with the best, the best-in-class technology partners. Together with these champions in their fields, we are developing autonomous driving. Two of these champions are here with me today. Please welcome on stage the CEO of Intel, Brian Krasnick, and Amnon Shashua, one of the founders of Mobileye. Please enter the stage. <laughs> and both of you just partnered with BMW at here. Thank yes. you for that. So right. also on high definition real-time maps, we are partners now too. So my question to you, yes, we have driven already some thousand miles with our test cars by year end, I think, a yep. huge and steep increase. How do you see um, the situation? What were the progresses we made since we met last time in July? On sure. So since July, I think uh, what's really been fun to watch is the, the engineering teams have really gotten together, right? So it's easy for us to stand up here on stage and say, we're all going to work together and we're going to go build this uh, vehicle. But it's when the engineers and the teams get together and start to really design this end-to-end -end solution that we're talking about. And so since... Since six months ago, roughly, when we all met, the engineers have been meeting. I'd say we have um, this end-to-end -end system now defined very well as a team, uh, what each of the components are, what each of us needs to deliver. Uh, and I think it's a very compelling answer where uh, by sharing this development uh, here between the three companies, uh, other companies now will have the, the opportunity to benefit from this, right? This is really meant to be an open, scalable network uh, uh, platform that will allow others to really build off of this uh, technology. So it's, it's been great progress in the six months. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we, we established 19 uh, work streams, both on uh, sensing, the computer vision, uh, processing uh, radars and, and radars, uh, fusion. We started also on mapping our uh, you know, agreement with, with here is, is in the context of our work with, the, with BMW, of course, and with the consortium. Uh, we established a work stream on, on driving uh, policy, but a very complicated strategy planning of how a vehicle can merge into, into traffic. We have a very significant work stream with, uh, with BMW. We had uh, a car driving uh, kind of lots of miles and internal uh, tests, which were very, very interesting and, and successful. So I think things are going very, very well. In six months, we established uh, quite a lot. Thank you. Brian, looking forward. What are the next steps to establish our modular platform? The well, as Amnon said, we have these 19 work streams. And, and, and really, the objective of those is to build this scalable platform. So there are going to be options of components that you can, you can build from, right? So the, the visioning system and the computing system and the connectivity. And um, really building those out and starting to get the software and hardware to actually be produced. Uh, and, and that's really the next six months of, of these 19 work streams is to actually start uh, putting together a product and getting it on the road and starting to learn and understand. And, and this is important because this allows our uh, partners to, to take these components and build from those as well if others want to build. And I think that's what's unique here is we're trying to build this open platform that will allow other companies to benefit from the research that the three companies here are doing. Yeah, to follow up what, what Brian just said, I think what sets us apart is that we are inclusive. This program is, is, rather than trying to set us apart from the world, we tell the world, come and join us. There's lot to be, lots to be gained by, by sharing data, by sharing uh, resources. You know, but at the peak of this program, we're talking about hundreds of hundreds of test vehicles. This is, is hugely expensive. 
lots of resources. If, if this can be shared with additional uh, affiliated uh, partners, uh, sharing of uh, data will be driving over many cities, but we can't cover the entire world. Other partners can, uh, can join us. There's lots of standardizations uh, uh, to be done by the time these vehicles would be approved to, uh, to run on roads. Uh, so what really sets us apart, this is uh, the first inclusive program that I'm aware of. All others are, are very protective, are very, are guarding their territory, and we are saying the opposite. Come, come and join us. So thank you very much. We will see you already again at the DLD in Munich in yes. two weeks. Yes, looking forward to it. Yes. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Bye-bye.